All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you are blessed, safe, and protected. I hope that you have repented, that you are baptized. And I hope that you going through all these different challenges and phases and seasons through your life. I pray that the most high makes things better for you. And he makes you more stronger and wiser as well. All right. Now, today's message is not really too much of a message. It's just going to be a news roundup for these past seven days this past week. Um, day after day, week after week, so much goes on in our country, so much in the world. And we have to be more aware and alert in these last times that we're in because the most high is speaking through us through signs and wonders all throughout all four corners of the earth. And we can't be so heavily minded with no earthly good. We have to always be aware of what's going on carnally, locally, state-wise, regional-wise, in the country, and global news as well, all right? We have to be watchful people. The Bible tells us to be watchful, all right? Be alert, right? So we can't be sleeping on things. You have to always be on point about what's going on, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is just, you know, read these tabloids as I just run through them. You know, I don't really go too deep into the long articles. I just read the tabloid and just go from it skip by skip. And just go from there, man. You know, I just hope these past days have been pretty good for y'all. I pray that y'all enjoyed y'all weekend. I hope that um, if you had any, like, sadness or depression, mental breakdowns, I pray that the most high cheer you up and give you a merry heart and gives you joy. All right? If you've been going through good things, then I pray that it keeps going up for you. If you've been going through rocky ups and down things and roller coasters and little twists and turns, I hope that the most high could set you firm and that you have stability and that you don't get too antsy okay you be more firm and strong and be more stable okay so what i'm gonna do is read these news tabloids and just go from there okay so i'm pretty sure in the entertainment news i'm pretty sure all of us have been aware of the whole pnb rock situation uh, which is pretty crazy how social media was talking about it and everybody had different arguments and views and debates about it when it comes to security and safety uh, moving different, moving smart, being careful, uh, posting your location, you know, things like that. Everybody has so much different arguments and mixed views about it, but um, very devastating story. All right. And you got the tropical storm, Medellin. Medellin forms off the western coast of Mexico. Okay, let's see. A sheriff, two small planes collide in, mil- in, in midair near Denver, and three people passed away from it. Pe- three people died from it. Okay. Let's see. A massive fight broke out on a Carnival cruise ship down in South Florida from the Miami Herald. Hmm. Crazy. Let's see. Cam Newton is is Cam Newton is in a lawsuit. Someone filed a lawsuit against Cam Newton. Okay. Let's see. All right. So much going on. Earthquakes rattle New York and the Northeast over the last 30 days. Interesting. Let's see. China values UN relationship despite human rights criticism. All right. Let's see what's going on. There is an urgent weather warning as huge storm could bring worse flooding for 50 years to U.S. state with water rising 18 feet. Wow. They are talking about that. Um something hitting alaska too so that's pretty crazy let's see what's going on joe biden has been called for social security has called for social security benefits cuts two times all right let's see a man dies after eating raw oyster at a seafood restaurant Hmm. sheesh that's crazy a high school shooting happens shooting happens at a high school football game Let's see. An 18-year-old man killed after a woman finds him in juvenile daughter's bed. Yikes. That's crazy. Let's see. Cosmic and fandom UFOs are all over Ukraine skies. Government report claims. Hmm. That's crazy, huh? UFOs. UFOs, right? Now, let's see what else is going on. A LSU marketing student is shot dead in her car during a traffic stop. Damn, that's crazy. She was 21 years old as well. Wow, man, this is 
this is some crazy times that we're in, man, you know? Wild stuff, man. These are the last days, you know? So these news stories are going to get more violent, weird, and crazy as they are. All right, let's see. Late fall, early winter could be warmer than the average for much of the U.S. Yeah, the weather's been a bit interesting these past days. Let's see. Let's see what we have here with the Black Enterprise. Okay, a substitute teacher in Louisiana has been arrested for offering students $5 to attack a classmate. Wow, crazy, right? Let's see. Puerto Rico braces for a tropical storm, Fiona. Um, the thing about Puerto Rico and the Caribbean islands and those places over there, they always get hit year after year with those crazy storms and whatnot, just being out in the water like that in these time seasons. Um, it gets really hard and difficult for those other countries, man. So make sure you guys are able to send any food or aid um, and prayers to that country, man, and try to help and help those countries through those hard times, those parts, you know, because those hurricanes and those tropical storms hit very hard over there, okay? We got to be more considerate and more caring and compassionate about other places, you know? Now, let's see what other types of news is going on. Let's see. A Virginia man thought he won a $600 on a scratch-off. He went to cash it, and it ended up being a million dollars. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> you just want a million dollars like that off the hip. I know many people would want that right now, right? Let's see what we have here. The entire food chain has started collapsing. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists want to spray sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere to refreeze the poles. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. China sends a warning to the U.S. about domestic EV battery production. Americans face tough decisions as food prices continue to soar. New Orleans becomes the murder capital of America, overtaking St. Louis. There's two chart, There's two charts that show America's Christian majority is on a track to an end. A new study modeled for four scenarios for how religious affiliation could change in the U.S., and it projected that a percentage of people with no religious affiliation will, will rise. Hmm. People with religion and different belief systems especially in a place like America where people decide what they want to believe or what have you. 400 million tons of plastic waste created each year, but only 2 million tons are actually recycled. Let's see. Asthma cases are getting more severe in the U.S. That's interesting. I actually grew up with asthma, so I know how that feels, man. It's crazy. U.S. inflation falls for second straight month, but remains high at 8.3%. Hmm. A Florida man paid to pay $128 million in health care fraud guilty plea. Hmm. Hispanics are now the largest demographic group in Texas. Let's see what else news we have here. A mom is charged with manslaughter after second child dies from co-sleeping. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Crazy news stories, man. Let's see. Georgia students spell out the N-word at a football game. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. A California mom is ordered to pay $9,000 and apologize after she told her daughter to punch another player during a youth basketball game. Man, sports parents be tripping, man. They be really tripping, man. A chess genius denies using anal beads to cheat during a tournament. Okay. A weird, crazy story. Okay. PayPal says if Phoenix Suns owner stays, it won't remain as a team sponsor. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we have here. Marijuana can relieve pain and improve athletic recovery. So why isn't it legal in sports? Hmm. Interesting. Now, let's see. Taiwan, specially invited to sign Queen's Condolence Book. Let's see. 
Ukraine searches for its dead at a Russian occupation burial site. Let's see. Nancy Pelosi visits Armenia. Hmm. Okay, so of course the whole Queen Elizabeth news and her funeral, what have you. That's been a pretty big story. Let's see. Poland opens a new sea waterway to cut dependence from Russia. EU calls for war crimes tribunal over Ukraine mass graves. Ethiopian forces rain drone terror on Tigray. Five Eyes Intelligence Network meeting hosted in Queenstown. Hmm. Interesting. Poland inks deal for F A fifty light attack aircraft from South Korea. Tunisia hikes cooking gas. Fuel prices and bids to cut subsides. Subsid sub subsidies. Let's see. US China at a weaponized breaking point over Taiwan. Turkey seeks to be first NATO member to join China. So this is world global news. UN ship, United Nations ship leaves Ukraine with wheat for Ethiopia. Canadian dollar falls to lowest point in almost two years. Hmm. Let's see. Syrian regime. Russia attacks northwest of Syria. Hmm. That's the local. That's the global news. The business. Why is the trucking industry changing? FedEx stock crashes after a brutal profit warning. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Is Silicon Valley's golden era coming to an end? Bed Bath & Beyond plans to close 56 stores across the U.S. And let's see what we have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Governments urged to act after oil giants accused of misleading public. Yeah, so business is going down for a lot of places all over the world. There's just so much going on. Let's see. China announces plan for hybrid fission fusion power facility. Extraterrestrial water found for the first time in meteorite that landed in U in the United Kingdom. A huge satellite just launched. Astronomers are worried. Air pollution increases dementia risk, says leading expert. Hmm. China and UAE will collaborate on moon rover missions. China tests new engine for huge Long March 9 moon rocket. Native tribes are bringing prairie land back to the Pacific Northwest. All right, let's see. America might be headed for a ketchup crisis. Here's how climate change is affecting tomato crops. Hmm, interesting. A GMO purple tomato is coming to grocery aisles. Will the U.S. bite? Americans learn skills to survive the climate crisis in the wilderness cores. Brett Favre defends use of state welfare money to build shelter for homeless volleyballs around $6 million or $5 million. All right, y'all. So that's all the news tabloids I wanted to just skim through, which is dealing with business, technology, science, world news, sports news, and lifestyle news as well, you know. So it's important to be alert and to stay up to date on everything going on in our world today, all right? So there you have it, people. Um, as we close out, I'd like to give all the glory to the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and give them all the praise and glory forever. And praise only be God's Son who died for our sins, all right? So we're going to close out and just end it here, all right? So here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen, the Apostle of our profession. Amen, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potent Him the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, 
the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith, the true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yahshai, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone, the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve an awesome creator, and his son is amazing for dying for our sins as well. So there you have it, people. That's the news week. That's the news roundup for this past week. Um, just got to stay up to date and alert on everything going on, and we got to be safe and keep us all out here in these times that we're in, all right? So there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life forth for the most high. I pray that you have repented. I pray that you are on a new beginning and a new path and a new journey. I pray that you take more risk and that the most high keeps being with you on your journey. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.